Oh, wait. Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and welcome to the first volume of puzzle games for the Sony PSP. In Zuma, you have to match the ball in the frog's mouth to a streak of balls of the same color to make combos. And clear the snake. As simple as the game looks, it's a lot of fun to play. Later in the game, you get more complex levels, the controls are great on the PSP, I recommend the game. The two Luxor games on the PSP are another two great puzzle games. Similar to Zuma, you have to match the ball you throw with at least two other balls of the same color in the snake, and just like in other games of this type, you get power-ups like precision throws, faster snakes, slower snakes, balls that match any color. The games are amazing, just like Zuma, you will have tons of fun with the games. Seven Wonders is a matchmaking puzzle game as you can see in the video. And I think that the video is self-explanatory on what the game is and how it works. I don't think I have to insist on reviewing this game. The game has two modes, free play and quest mode, where you do exactly what you see in the video. In quest mode, after multiple series of levels, you switch to another construction site of the seven wonders of the world. In the two Mercury games, you control a blob of Mercury. You have control over the terrain, and by tilting the stage you can direct the mercury blob. You will also be able to split the blob into multiple parts, and you can also color the blobs to pass levels. The levels are creative, and the game is nicely made. I have no complaint about the gameplay, it was great. So if the games look appealing to you, definitely try them out. I like them. In Echo Shift, the premise is again simple. But the way you do it is challenging, you have to get to the exit in the given time limit. This time it's a 2D game, you can activate switches to make the platforms walkable, and this is not only it, it's not as easy. Later on you will learn to use your failures as bridges to pass a level. If you run out of time, your game turns into a ghost, and you can use your ghost to clear the level you've been stuck in forever. There are again 56 levels in the game and it's really challenging when you get to play the game. So if you like puzzle games and want some good ones, try out the two Echo games. In Echo Chrome you have to create an optical illusion in order to pass. There are 56 levels and you can even create your own levels. And that's about it, the premise is very simple, create an optical illusion so that your character can pass. But as simple as the premise is, it will challenge your brain. And the puzzles get more and more elaborate the more you progress in the game. It's fantastic. Okay, so this was the first volume of puzzle games for the Sony PSP. Stay tuned for the second volume. Until then, I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.